love going to the fairs and my favorite part of the fair is funnel cake. But I don't get to have it often, but now I do. I make it at home and I want to share with you how you can make your own funnel cake from scratch as well as your own strawberry sauce from scratch. Stay tuned. Remove the stems, put all your strawberries in a pot because we're going to be cooking the strawberries. So turn your oven to low and while it's on low, add a half a cup of sugar. Add two teaspoons of cornstarch. I've added one, so this is the second one. Add a teaspoon of lemon juice. Then you're going to add a pinch of salt, which I am doing. And as you can see, the sugar is dissolving and the strawberries are getting cooked. This is not a bad thing, but I kind of like to get rough with the strawberries and kind of just poke at them and mix. And just keep stirring until the sugar is dissolved for about 10 minutes. But while the strawberry sauce is being cooked and warmed up, let's go ahead and work on the oil for the funnel cake. But I prefer canola oil when making funnel cake. So add about a cup of canola oil on your pan. As you can see, it's pretty deep. And you use a small pan if you want to make small funnel cake like I am. And turn on the heat to low for now to kind of just warm up the oil. So after 10 minutes of the strawberries cooking, I kind of chopped it into pieces with a spoon and mixed it around and your sauce is ready. You just take it off from the heat and let it cool. Okay, so we're ready to make our funnel cake batter. Add two cups of flour in a bowl. It's one cup of flour. Two cups. Then add a teaspoon of baking powder. That's one teaspoon of baking powder. Then you're going to add two tablespoons of sugar. One and two. Then you're going to add half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I like to add more because I like that cinnamon taste, but that's half a teaspoon. And I'm going to just go ahead and mix it all together. Then add a pinch of salt. Just a little pinch like that. Next, you're going to add two eggs, two medium-sized eggs. Just crack one and place the other one. Then you're going to add one and a half cups of milk. So there we go, one and a half cups of milk. And pour that right on top of the whole mixture. Just use your hands, a fork, a spoon, and kind of just... Mix everything together at first. Separate the eggs. Really mix. So our batter is looking really great. Nice consistency, kind of like a watery, thick consistency. I'm just gonna grab a cup of that batter, place it in my funnel cake like so, as you can see. Or in my funnel, I called it a funnel cake. So grabbing a cup and placing the batter in the funnel, I'm going to just go ahead and just kind of drop down the funnel or drop, drop down the items or the batter from the funnel. And this is actually a really great um, funnel that I got from Michaels because you can kind of control it and if you feel like it's enough batter, you can kind of close it like this with a handle. And as you can see, um, just kind of doing a zigzag mo motion and just cover up the pan. You're going to just fry that up on medium heat for about two minutes or so. 
flip over the funnel cake and cook the rest for only a minute. So I like using something to grab the funnel cake. And it smells so good. This is definitely ready so I'm just going to grab it with my tongs and kind of shake off the excess oil and place it on a plate that has napkins and I'm going to just place that on the plate and then flip it over like this so that um, we don't have so much oil. So I removed the napkins and kind of absorbed the excess oil but this is an unhealthy um, treat but it's an amazing indulgence every now and then. Now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon but you can skip this if you're not a huge fan of cinnamon. Then I'm going to add a wee bit of powdered sugar just like at the fair. They have powdered sugar all over that funnel cake. And then I'm going to add that strawberry sauce that we made earlier. Depending on how much you want to eat, I'm just going to put it right on top. So that was it. It was really easy to make and there you go. You have your own homemade funnel cake as well as your own homemade strawberry sauce. Enjoy, dig in, have it with ice cream, whipped cream, whatever you may want to have it with. And don't forget to share it with your friends because I'm sure everyone wants to enjoy making funnel cakes at home. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more beauty and baking videos. Have a great day. Bye.